Hi, my name is Dina, and this is Ramadan Done My Way. The TV show that I always watch with my family, this is grandparents included, is Ramaz. It's an Egyptian show where the TV host pranks his audience or his victims, and it's really extreme. <laughs> kind of inappropriate sometimes, but we really enjoy it. I think there's one thing that we do every year that always sticks in my mind, and I just love it, is uh, while we're waiting for iftar time, we watch the canon on TV, and we all sit here quietly and count down for it to happen, and once the canon goes off, we all get up and cheer and run to go eat. So, yeah, I always love that. So a Ramadan dish that I look forward to every year is my mom's kunefa. It is amazing. Everyone thinks it's amazing. <laughs> and anytime I have friends coming over for fitar, they know that my mom is going to be making kunefa for dessert. Whether or not she's here, it will be prepared and ready for them. So that's something we're definitely known for. My one tip for pushing through the day is, well, preparation, like anything else. Make sure that you have a good sahur, that you've really hydrated the night before. If you're prepared, it's, you know, it takes a little bit of transition, but fasting will be much easier. Also, a second tip is to keep busy, because I think when you're busy, time flies by. People tend to take it very slow during Ramadan, but then the day lasts forever. So keep busy, help others. So during Ramadan, there's always a goal that I like to accomplish. And this year, it's to work on my anxiety, that anxiety. And I think during Ramadan, I tend to calm down. I'm a lot more spiritual, a lot more connected. I make time a lot more for friends and I sleep well. So yeah, I think just to figure out how to make that last. I have a lot of things on my Ramadan gratitude list this year. I mean, the, the world is kind of a sad and scary place right now. And I am so grateful to be in a country that is so safe, my goodness, and to be surrounded by my family, to feel safe and loved and healthy. Thank God. So one of my favorite Ramadan initiatives, they're usually sponsored by licensed charities here in the UAE. You can purchase meals, sponsor meals, um, and then you can actually go to the mosques or wherever they are distributing them, give them to laborers, give them to other UAE residents who can't necessarily afford to pay for an iftar every night and just to, to spoil them and, you know, spread, spread some positive and positive karma and love. My sahur meal, my sahur meal as a child was always a grilled cheese sandwich. I remember that, or cereal, which I have until now, actually. It's still one of my sahur. Meals. So my Ramadan reading list, I would actually say that I am working on my Arabic. So I'm currently taking a course that involves a book <laughs> so that my Arabic can improve. But yeah, it helps me read the Quran, it also helps me with communication. And it's uh, one of my overall goals for the year.